It was a dark and terrible night. On your way to bed, lightning flashed, and you noticed an oozing lesion on your arm. Oh no! Being an MLS in training, you know this is something that needs investigation. Skipping the doctor altogether because that's boring and doctors don't know anything anyway, you, an expert, go straight to the legendary MLS at your local clinic to get to the bottom of this medical mystery. Being a wound, the MLS knows exactly what agar to plate everything. After what seems like an eternity, the agar grows a monstrous looking colony of some in villainy. You watch the skillful MLS analyze the colonies. They take a single isolated colony from the agar and they overlay it with a low mass matrix. I bet it's alpha cyanophore hydrocyanamic acid, you thought. As if reading your mind, the incredible MLS said, you're right, it is CHCA. You watch with great anticipation as the colony cells are disrupted, the proteins are extracted, and begin to crystallize as the evaporation process occurs. Then you see it, the Malditov. The MLS reluctantly lets you watch as they load the plate in the mass spectrometer's ionization chamber. You imagine the terror of the insidious infective agent as the laser pulses tear them to shreds. You gleefully watch as the matrix buffers the sample to preserve the protein within the sample. You wonder, how exactly are the ions created for the next step? Again, one step ahead of your silly student mind, the MLS says, the laser energy is transferred to heat energy, allowing the sample to release or dissorb into singly charged ions. You marvel at the level of mastery the MLS shows with the complex lab equipment. The next step in the process confuses you and you remember your professors mentioning time of flight, but it's just a vague memory. The MLS looks at you knowingly and says, you're not an MLS yet, kid. The next step passes the ionized molecules through the vacuum tube and hit the detector. The amount of time it takes for the molecule to hit the detector is the time of flight. Small molecules travel faster than large molecules. A fingerprint spectrum is created that is unique to each organism. The spectrum is run through a database to get the identification of the organism. Wow, that expertise, way better than any doctor would attempt to explain. The results are in, and it's just some flora that your body will take care of. Annoyed, the MLS slaps the back of your hand for wasting valuable resources. You are starstruck and you promise to never wash your hand again. Now bordering on creepy, the MLS promptly sends you on your way and hopes to never run into you while they work in the lab again.